This is Jungle Beats Radio. We're about to do a first reaction to, I believe his name is Sir or Sire. I'm not sure. You know, I'm going to go with Sir just because that's how he is to me. But, you know. You know he on, is so. the second John Doe 2 of Signee of Top Dog Entertainment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I listened to his, to his first song that he released with them called Boy. Boy. Got a really kind of unique music video he released for it really nice sound to it and we're gonna really we're gonna listen and react to his uh recent ep his most recent ep that's called her mm -hmm. you got anything you want to add to that or we get straight into it yo man let's get straight into that ish let's do it first track is cadillac dreams hey finally yo yo turn to my mic on for a second let's see what yeah 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 it's working Fuck. Me. Welcome to the world of Sir. This is one smooth ass. Can I just say it's like song. Lance it's like Lance Skywalker, but without the weirdness and different beat changes. <laughs> I, I, see. I, I see the similarities in the beat choices. Hmm. Maybe Except he's more. actually staying constant <laughs> with a beat. Without nah, going off Lance. into a different direction. No, um no, nah, cool. it was a real smooth way to start the album. I thought Crit was definitely the best part of the song. Cause Sir really like kept it going smooth and groovy and just sort of like lost in a bit of a trance but I you know there's no real big switch up until crit and when then crit steals the show and it goes back I'm like oh I just realized I was sort of bored with the little bit of repetitiveness and how crit was switching mm. it up a lot this is like some atmospheric type of really really yeah. uh, really just different though it's like mm, it get, I like it it's, I like it a lot yeah it's real smooth at the moment that's how, that's it's the fine. best word to describe it like buttery smooth this is the sort of stuff where I go into a bar I'm looking around it's just playing in the background it suits the mood mm, I see you yeah, I see you that's how I feel track two queen let go I really like the jazz and soul inspirations to that. It reminds me a lot of BJ the Chicago Kid in his ah, last album. Yes. Very, very similar with the you. sort of the the soul and the sort of beat choice as well. Very reminiscent to In My Mind. And when I look at the title of the album that's titled Her, yeah. and I look at the song, it's titled Queen, and then I look at the album cover, is a female kind of in a silhouette. Yeah. You can't really make out. So it makes me think... The, and it's an album dedicated to a specific female in his life. He's kind of, you know, telling mm -hmm. the stories. You listen to the lyrics, you can tell him uh, feeling those emotions that he's trying to storytell across. Yeah. So. I haven't really been picking up too much, but I'm going to be paying more attention now. Well, I always try to. You're, I always try to, like, pick those little things up. Or you could just vibe yeah, to the yeah, music. Yeah. Some people just like to vibe to it. I like to, like... When I'm in this, like, zone, when, like, paying attention to the music, I like to get into the lyrics as well. Mm. Um... Next track is Let's track three, Go There. Sounds like they lost that Go there. I just ruined your, your beautiful finishing there. <laughs> Gotta put on a little bit of a skirt! You know, and then we go. No, we're weird. That's not this type of album. Oh, sorry, man. That's not this type of album. I feel like he... You know, I just... I feel like the skirt was appreciated. <laughs> maybe, I, more, maybe more of a skirt. You know? I, I feel like... Yeah, that's good. A even more, on... A even more on, sexier skirt. Even on this track, 
you kind of switch it up even a little bit. I thought I was going to expect the same kind of sound, but mm. it is kind of the same cohesive sound. But it is. It has that just ongoing, just hypnotizing. It's something different about that one. Melodies. Yeah, hypnotizing. Very. Because I zoned out hard then. How hard? Pretty hard. Because it was repetitive, right? Yeah, yeah, it was repetitive, but it was in a way where like you could lose yourself in it without becoming too bored if you didn't realize what was happening. That he's a, a 29 year old rapper from LA, and so he's been in. The, it seems like he's been in the game a little bit to really create. Rapper? I haven't heard no raps yet, really. What did I call him? A rapper? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, maybe, maybe Song, a singer songwriter. Maybe he can spit though. I don't know. This is the first project we did, but he's 29 years old, so I assume he's been in music for a little bit of time to yeah, let him maturate yeah, yeah. throughout this game and learn some things. So this is mm. probably why we're seeing a project that's so uh, solidified and cohesive. Interesting to know how he came across Tiddy as well. Like if it was just through friends, whatever, or Agreed. or if they just they found him say on SoundCloud, like this guy's dope. Because he's because there's been a lot of J Rock songs, a lot of J Rock singles. I think he's on a bit of uh, Schoolboy Q's and Kendrick's as well. Right. So, you know, he's worked with a few of them before. Being, that's why a lot of people thought of it as not Kembe. It's probably Sir. Because Lance did the same thing. Lance did a lot of tracks with J-Rock and uh, Absol. And then, like, like, oh, he's probably one of them. Boom, was one of them. So, And now we are. And here we are. It's like the male version of Scissor, I feel like this is. Yeah, I can definitely There we go. I got it. There it is. Scissor with a dick. <laughs> Track four. Never felt anything that good. <laughs> It's a short one. We don't need to say much on that. Skirt, skirt. But the song felt good, just like I'm Yo. sure that little thing he was describing felt I, good. I love the uh, the change of production there. It was a bit more, a little bit more scattered, but it was still smooth over the scatteredness. I really like that song. Now, this is surprising to say. This is the second last track. Usually our, our reactions are much, much, much longer. <laughs> Yo, so we're halfway there. Not even, man. Second, second last. <laughs> track five. It's an EP, you know? Yeah, so yeah it's, it's an EP. Track five, All In My Head. That's beautiful. That was that was definitely the best track so far to me. Instrumentation. Oh, it was all there. The smooth, like it still had the same sort of, you know, what it was going for the first few tracks. But I feel it was executed very well on this track. More, a bit diverse uh, with the with the the tone changes as well. I really dig the ending. Yeah, it was a beautiful. Yeah, song. you. Yeah, like we were saying in the mm. with the guitar, then the piano, yeah. the cloudiness. Just all just lapping together to go with the feel. Layering of the song. that together. Yeah, really. Mm. A sonically, very sonically pleasing. This whole album is very sonically pleasing. Mm. Like, and yeah, I'll t- actually, I'll, I'll you know, talk about that. If when your we sex don't. is only worth six tracks on an EP, this is for you. Well, how much does that last? You know, like, depends. 25, 30 minutes. Are you that's, a good love maker? That's, that's the EP. What's it like? What's love making to you? Next track. <laughs> It's tricky. <laughs> it's tricky. I'm t- t- it, Love making is tricky. I've tried. It can be tricky. Like track six. <laughs> Just enough will leave you tipsy. Mm. You fall if you have too much. Mm. It's quite a late <coughs> 80s, early 90s. So we shouldn't should go in it. Very nice. We can begin with the touch. Moving along, let us. I've been here before. Right. I'll you and you, someone else. Yeah, this could be a hit. You were so. Right, video, the right audience. I was so concerned. That's really that's. Ooh, that was a great track too. The last two tracks were stronger than the rest of the album. I thought. Hmm. I mean, but then again, I might have listened to get to feel that because maybe it took me three tracks to really get into his sound and get what he was doing. That is Sir's her EP. Mm-hmm. Six tracks. Yeah, Tricky definitely has single potential. I think if he's got an album and he in that single would take off and you know like J Cole with Lights Please on the mixtape put in the album because right. the song like I reckon that track could do the same for Sir. So. Like we were saying, a, the right kind of a Bryce and Tiller type of vibe yeah, on that. Definitely Bryce and Tiller vibes. Um, I'm surprised with how nice this sounded, how how sonically nice this sounded. I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh, uh, I think for me, if I did it, if I could choose anything right now, little little slight repetitiveness is even though I'm losing myself to the music. Like I said with Big when Big Crit's verse came in, I realized, oh, I'm loving this a lot more. Maybe because I'm just 
I don't know. I feel like the last two tracks he had a bit more changes in terms of vocals compared to with the beat. But it depends what he's going for. But I, I feel like it's a good introduction to him as an artist. Agreed. It is a very good introduction. Mm-hmm. And uh, okay, I think. There's nothing wrong with it in the sense of just putting it in the background type of music, in mm-hmm. atmospheric mm-hmm. music, vibe music, it's great love that. making music, whatever you want to use it as. I think that has its application in that that respect, and um, quite enjoy that little calm, mm-hmm. beautiful, just it's just nice. It's just nice. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with TD. I think Lance Skywalker is going to be a great addition. And now hearing stuff from Sir after only hearing features. And a slight body of work. I really, really like the stuff. Yeah. The, the the male scissor is here. And... Scissor with a dong. Looks like he got some potential. Look forward to whatever he comes next with. You can call him the the female... No, the male scissor as well. I did. Uh, did I not? I think you said the, the female. No. Fuck, you did. <laughs> <laughs> the fem... You know what? Just fuck it. Erase that shit. All right, <laughs> Jungle Beats Radio, first reaction to Sir. Mm-hmm. We Australians are plugged to the best hip-hop and music in the world. The motherfucking best. Facts only. Mm-hmm. Charlie Heat version. <laughs> <laughs>